Naproxen usually sold as the sodium salt Naproxen sodium is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug of the propionic acid class and is commonly used for relief of a wide variety of pain, fever, swelling and stiffness. It is the preferred NSAID for long-term use in people with a high risk of cardiovascular complications, due to its relatively low risk of causing such complications. Naproxen has an intermediate risk of causing stomach ulcers as compared with ibuprofen, which is low risk, and indomitacine, which is high risk. In order to reduce the risk of stomach ulceration, it is often combined with a proton pump inhibitor during long-term treatment, in those with pre-existing stomach ulcers, or a history of developing stomach ulcers while on NSAIDs. Medical uses, naproxen is commonly used for the reduction of pain, fever, inflammation, and stiffness caused by conditions including migraine, osteoarthritis, kidney stones, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, gout, ankylosing spondylitis, menstrual cramps, tendonitis, and bursitis, among others. It is also used for the treatment of primary dysmenorrhea. Diagnostics Naproxen has been utilized to differentiate between infectious fevers and those with neoplastic or connective tissue disease-related fevers. Adverse effects COX-2 selective and non-selective NSAIDs have been linked to increases in the number of serious and potentially fatal cardiovascular events, such as myocardial infarctions and strokes. Naproxen is, however, associated with the smallest overall cardiovascular risks. Cardiovascular risk needs to be taken into account when prescribing any non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. The drug had roughly 50% of the associated risk of stroke as compared with ibuprofen and was also associated with a reduced number of myocardial infarctions as compared to control groups. As with other non-COX-2 selective NSAIDs, naproxen can cause gastrointestinal problems, such as heartburn, constipation, diarrhea, ulcers and stomach bleeding. Persons with a history of ulcers or inflammatory bowel disease should consult a doctor before taking naproxen. It was found that high-dose naproxen induced near-complete suppression of platelet thromboxin throughout the dosing interval and appeared not to increase cardiovascular disease risk, whereas other high-dose NSAID regimens had only transient effects on platelet COX-1 and were associated with a small but definite vascular hazard. Conversely, naproxen was associated with higher rates of upper gastrointestinal bleeding complications in comparison to other NSAIDs. NSAID painkillers, such as naproxen, may interfere with and reduce the efficacy of SSRI antidepressants. Mechanism of action, naproxen works by reversibly inhibiting both the COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes. Compound information, naproxen is a member of the 2 aryl propionic acid family of NSAIDs. The free acid is an odorless, white to off-white, crystalline substance. It is lipid-soluble and practically insoluble in water. It has a melting point of 152 a euro 155 a degree Celsius. Synthesis, naproxen has been industrially produced by Syntex as follows. Other synthetic routes have also been discussed. Marketing and trade names, naproxen and naproxen sodium are marketed under various trade names, including, Aleve, Accord, Anaprox, Antalgen, Apronax, Feminax Ultra, Flanax, Inza, Midol Extended Relief, Norgesin, Naposin, Naplin, Naprogesic, Naprosin, Nerosin, Proxin, Soproxin, Synflex and Xenobid. Access Restrictions Naproxen was originally marketed as the prescription drug Naprosin by Syntex in 1976, and Naproxen Sodium was first marketed under the trade name Anaprox in 1980. It remains a prescription-only drug in much of the world. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration approved its use as an over-the-counter drug in 1994. OTC preparations in the U.S. are mainly marketed by Bayer Healthcare under the trade name Aleve and generic store brand formulations in 220 mg tablets. In Australia, packets of 275 mg tablets of naproxen sodium are scheduled to pharmacy medicines, with a maximum daily dose of 5 tablets or 1375 mg. In the United Kingdom, 
250mg tablets of naproxen were approved for OTC sale under the brand name Feminax Ultra in 2008, for the treatment of primary dysmenorrhea in women aged 15 to 50. In the Netherlands, 220mg and 275mg tablets are available OTC in drugstores, 550mg is OTC only at pharmacies. Aleph became available over the counter in most provinces in Canada on July 14, 2009, but not British Columbia, Quebec or Newfoundland and Labrador. It became available OTC in British Columbia in late January 2010. Research: Naproxen may have antiviral activity against influenza. Specifically, it blocks the RNA binding groove of the nucleoprotein of the virus thereby preventing formation of the ribonucleoprotein complex, thus taking the vital nucleoproteins out of circulation. References External links, Alev US, Alev Canada, CID 1302 from PubChem, Inc's No. 244-838-7, Medline Plus Information on Naproxen, FDA Statement on Naproxen, released December 20, 2004. Alzheimer's Disease Anti-Inflammatory Prevention Trial, Forbes article, which NSAID for heart disease patients. A Euromedscape, U.S. National Library of Medicine, Drug Information Portal A Euro Naproxen, Al of Daily Med, Naproxen bound to proteins in the PDB, use of Naproxen in the treatment of RSD.